Hey, I'm Brian Kona, Be Code Knives. In this video, I'll be making a Kydex press so that I can make some knife sheaths. Let's get right into it. Here's all of the things that you're gonna need to make this Kydex press. And the most expensive thing on this table is the Kydex foam itself. And that's only like 30 bucks over at Maritime Knife Supply. Steal of a deal. And I really think that you should make this as well. You're gonna need two pieces of wood that are roughly the width of your foam. You're gonna need some Super 77 adhesive spray. And you're gonna need some Hinges, um, I'm gonna go with two inches. Um, we might end up having a bump up to two and a half inches. We'll have to see on that. And then you're going to need a knife to cut your foam in half with. Uh, this is the Gentry Custom Knives um, build along knife. You can watch me build this knife up there in the eye and you can watch me forge this thing out. And there's actually two parts. So I'm gonna send you to the first part of the two parts. Yeah, definitely check out that video. I really enjoyed doing it. And then you're gonna need a toaster oven in the back to actually make uh, the Kydex, but that's not gonna be useful in this build because all we're doing is making the press. Let's get building. If you want to, you can get your pieces of wood that fit exactly to the size of your Kydex um, foam, but this is what I have right now on hand and I need to get this thing built quick, so this is what we're gonna go with. So make sure that your pieces of wood are right up to the corners and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to score across the Kydex foam to give myself a little um, line to cut to. Uh, let me go ahead and do that a couple more times and get both of these cut out so that these pieces of foam fit exactly to this piece of wood. Now that I've taken the time to actually sharpen this thing, let's see if it cuts a little bit better. Weird how a, a sharp knife actually cuts. <laughs> Goodness. Now that we have all of our wood and our Kydex foam laid out, we're gonna use the Super 77 to give it a lot of stick so we can, we can glue it all together. Wow. Now I'm gonna let this tack up for a second and then we can stick it all together. Perfect. Oh boy, uh, I definitely missed the mark on that one, but definitely make sure that these things are lined up perfect before you put them down because that sticks immediately. That's crazy. I totally, oh, I messed that one up. Let me go ahead and tear it apart and then try to restick it. The only thing that's left is to attach some hinges. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach it on this side because that is where my most hangover is, my where I can get to where the hinges are going to attach. I'm going to have to do a little bit of carving just to make sure that this is nice and easy to get to. Now that these are all stuck together, I can go ahead and put them one on top of the other. And then you can see right here, that's where the hinges are going to attach. So let me go ahead and get these hinges ready. We are definitely moving up to the two and a half inch hinges. You do want it, the hinges to um, basically squeeze these things together. So you don't want it to be completely flat. You want it to be slightly cinched when you're, when you're putting the hinges on. But two inches is way too small. So we gotta, we've gotta move up to the two and a half inches. 
As you can see here, even the two and a half inches might be too small. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach it on this furthest widest one and then attach it on an angle like this so that when it cinches together, it's gonna be super, super tight. Uh, this might be too small and it might fail, which means I will have to tear this whole thing apart and start from scratch. So cross your fingers, guys. Hope, guys, hopefully this works. Yeah, in retrospect, uh, two and a half inches is way too small for your hinges. But I think I can make this work for the one Kydex sheath I need to make today. And then after that, I am going to definitely get some larger hinges so it's not quite so crazy tight because this is going to be cumbersome. As you can see, it does squish together. That is gonna be a tight press. As you can see, it all squishes together. It will work, but that is probably just a little bit too tight. I'm sure that there's quite a few of you guys that knew that this was gonna happen, but this thing busted apart on the very first Kydex sheath I made. The big downfalls were that the fact that these were two and a half inch and not three inch hinges, and the fact that I only put in one screw per side. When I remake this, I'm going to do three hinges and I'm going to do it at three inches a piece so I can put four screws per. That will make sure that this is nice and strong. I'm not gonna bore you guys with watching me remake this. I'm just gonna jump right now to when it's remade. I forgot where I heard it first, but this reminds me of the saying, if it's worth building, it's worth overbuilding. These are three three inch hinges with all of the screws done. Um, Basically what I did is I flipped them over because this is the side that, that cracked on me. Um, I flipped it over and I basically went way too much with it. This is definitely way overbuilt, but I'd rather not have another break again than to you know save an extra dollar or two and, and only have two hinges. So I went with that third. So one of the things that you really need to pay attention to is make sure when you're building it, you don't want it to naturally fit you know, flush like this. You want it to already be pinched down here at the bottom because that means that when you squish this thing, it'll already have enough pressure where down here, it's not going to be like less pressure down here, more pressure up here. You want it to have a consistent pressure all the way across. So definitely build it so it has a slight V when, it, when it's at rest. Um, that just allows you to get enough pressure all the way across. Um, man, I definitely had a nice little lesson of don't cheap out on when you're building something, especially something like this where you're going to have to use, I mean, I'm going to have to use this making sheets for a long time. So there's no sense in trying to save an extra buck and only having two hinges, overbuild it and it'll last you for a long time. I appreciate you guys watching me make this simple Kite Express. I know it wasn't a crazy hard process, but hopefully it just shows you that making Kydex sheets are very attainable. Now, the next video I put out, I will be making a Kydex sheath just to show you my process. I'm just getting into it. I'm sure there's better ways to do things, but hopefully you guys enjoy that next. Thank you guys all for watching. Please go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Those are great ways to support my small channel. If you want a custom knife made by me, please go ahead and message me over on Facebook or Instagram. We will have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and we'll design a perfect custom knife just to your likings. Thank you guys all for watching. Have a great rest of your day.